Clara Schumann, née Week, was one of the most prominent musicians of the 19th century, not only as a composer but also as one of the foremost pianists of her time. Although married to the great romantic composer Robert Schumann, Clara often found herself in the shadows of her husband's fame. However, works like Caprice et la Bolero prove that she had a distinctive voice of her own. When Clara Schumann composed Caprice et la Bolero, Opus 5, she was still Clara Week, a young woman in her teens, not yet married to the renowned composer Robert Schumann. Born in 1819, by her mid-teens, Clara had already established herself as one of the preeminent pianists in Europe. Her father, Friedrich Wieck, was a strict and ambitious teacher who molded her into a child prodigy. During this period, Clara's professional career was marked by extensive concert tours and performances that earned her acclaim in various European cities. Personally, her life intertwined with her growing relationship with Robert Schumann, her father's pupil. Their bond intensified both musically and romantically. However, Friedrich Wieck disapproved of their relationship, leading to significant tension. The 1830s, during which Caprisa La Bolero was composed, was a formative decade for Clara, a period where she blossomed as an artist and navigated the complexities of love, familial obligations, and societal expectations. The title of the piece, with its nod to the bolero, immediately evokes images of Spain's rich musical tradition. During the 19th century, the rhythmic patterns and passionate dances of the bolero captivated European composers, leading many to integrate these elements into their works. Clara Schumann's piece is no exception. Within its measures, one can hear the unmistakable beat and flair of the bolero dance, reflecting the era's fascination with Spanish influences. This interplay of styles showcases not only the piece's cultural depth but also Clara's versatility as a composer. True to the nature of a caprice, this piece is replete with rapid passages, challenging hand crossings, and varied dynamics that demand technical prowess from the performer. It showcases the piano's capabilities in terms of rhythm and tonal range. Clara Schumann was known for her sensitive melodic touch, and this is evident in Caprice et la Bolero. The main themes are introduced and then varied upon, providing a sense of unity to the work. While the piece is rooted in the romantic idiom with its rich harmonies and expressive phrasing, the harmonic progressions used by Clara showcase her unique voice. The piece frequently shifts between major and minor, lending it a sense of unpredictability and excitement. Caprice et la Bolero is not merely a display of technical brilliance, it possesses deep emotional layers as well. The performer must navigate these nuances, transitioning from playful to pensive, from exuberant to introspective, sometimes within just a few bars. Clara Schumann's Caprice et la Bolero Opus 5 stands as a testament to her genius as a composer. It's a piece that melds the technical demands of the Romantic era with the emotive depth so characteristic of her works. It is both a nod to the popular styles of her time and a deeply personal statement. For listeners and performers alike, it offers a window into the world of a woman who was not merely a muse for other composers but a formidable and innovative musician in her own right.